guys, I'm John Bear, and I want to share some things with you today about leadership. You know, the other day, my family and I were at a restaurant, and as we were eating, I noticed that all the servers walking around, every employee in the entire restaurant that we were at had shirts that said, I love my job. And, and I thought about that for a minute, and my first thought was, do you really love your job? You know, is this something you're just wearing, or is this truly a culture? of loving your job. But as I began to think about it and look around at all these employees, they seem to be happy. They seem to be having a great time. They had a smile on their face. And you know what? Their shirt reflected their attitude. And I thought about this and you know, I thought that, you know, in an organization, you want your people to love their job. You want your team to love what they do, to love their job. And it is the leader's responsibility to create an environment that people love. Yeah, think about that for a minute. You know, there's a lot of organizations that people are just working for a paycheck or they're just working because they have to, but they don't really love it. They don't really have a passion for what they're doing. And I want to challenge you as a leader, wherever it is, if it's your organization or your team or your nonprofit, your church, your family even, when you lead them, are you creating in a winning environment where people can say, you know what, I love our team. I love what we do. So how do you do that as a leader? How do you create a winning environment? Here's what I want to challenge you with today. Just one thought about creating a winning environment. It's not the only thing that you do, but it's one of the most important things that you do. You have got to communicate why your organization exists. That's right, you've got to communicate what's at stake. What is it that you're trying to accomplish? You see, it's got to be more than just a paycheck. It's got to be more than just it's something we have to do today to punch in or to clock or whatever the case may be. You've got to begin to communicate why it is that you exist. What is it that you're trying to accomplish? And when you as the leader can get the people and get their eyes on the goal, on the target, on what really matters, then all of a sudden they'll begin to enjoy what they do. Because here's the deal, when I was at that restaurant the other night with my family, you know what, Th those employees could have had an attitude of, you know, it's just my, my day here, I gotta work, and I gotta serve food, I gotta put up with people and all their orders, and if they complain, and I gotta do all this, and get their food, make sure it's right, and make sure I'm refilling their drinks, they could have had a, a horrible attitude about it maybe. But here's the deal, they created a great environment for our family to come and have a great night together. We were actually celebrating a birthday with a friend of ours. And you know what? That staff made a great environment for our family to have a great time and to celebrate that night. They weren't just providing us food and just a means to sit down. They were giving us an experience so that we had an enjoyable time. Now that meant a lot to us as a family and to the person that was with us that was celebrating their birthday. Because the staff came out and they did what you know a lot of restaurants do. They sang the birthday song and kind of had fun with that. But you know what? We walked away with a memory. We walked away saying that was a fun night. We enjoyed that. We enjoyed our food. We enjoyed the service. We enjoyed getting together as a family and hanging out. And you know what? Those servers at that restaurant, they were creating an environment for us to have a great night. Now, my guess is this, or my hope would be that their leader at that restaurant, the reason it says I love my job is because they're telling them, listen, it's not just about money, it's not just about punching in, it's about creating an environment in our restaurant that people come and have a great experience. You can be part of somebody's Friday night having a great day. Maybe they had a horrible day at work, and when they come here on Friday night for dinner, we're going to begin to lift their day so that they have a great experience. Now, that is getting Getting people to look at what really matters. So I just encourage you as a leader, whatever you're over, get your eyes and get your team's eyes on what really matters, on the important things, on the why, on the what it is that you're trying to accomplish. Get them to focus on that and you'll begin to see not just I love my job written on a t-shirt, but you'll begin to see something rise up within people because everyone, everybody wants to be part of something that's winning and everybody wants to be part of something that's making a difference. So make sure you always communicate what it is that your company or your organization offers that is making a difference and communicate that so that people can begin to truly love their job.